it's me, Mara, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's videos, my cousin, we will be joining us, who is professional IT related solutions consultant. So, we'll just ask her a few questions about her work in the midst of the pandemic. So, let's start! Give it to me like... Hello, Ma'am Ellen Orieres, and thank you for accepting my invitation to interview you today. I hope you're doing well. So, shall we start? Thank you. I'm doing very good, and I hope you too. Yes, I'm good to start. Thank you. The first question is, how, uh, can you tell me what about process about your work? Oh, yeah, of course. So uh, to give you a bit of a background on my work, I work on an IT consulting company. So in regards to the businesses that we have, we provide IT services, IT support, and managed services, virtualization for computers, and recruitment part. And on my position, I am currently working as a solutions consultant. So that includes managing the clients that we have and the people on site. And I also take care of doing business development for our clients. We're, we are still in the midst of a pandemic. And we, are know, we all know that most of us are affected by what's happening is. So what do you think is the biggest change that has happened in your work now that there is a pandemic? Oh, good question. So actually, I think since we're all, we, before the pandemic, we used to work on a traditional manner, right, where everyone comes to the office every day. And uh, our companies, I think every company thinks that you could not deliver your work properly if you're not coming to the office. But due to the pandemic, where everyone was forced to work from home or to refrain socializing with people, especially for my job, that was quite difficult because my job is to uh, communicate with the candidates, with the, with the managers, or with different clients for face-to-face. -face. So that has been a drastic change on our side. So good thing we had that. We were able to adapt with a work-from-home scenario where you can still fully work remotely and follow up with clients and good thing for the technology, especially for us, we're on the IT side, right? So we're able to maximize or utilize those technologies where there's like for example this meeting is done via zoom call like we can still handle those meetings properly via via that one so i think that was the huge change and also uh, for the people to know that they can still be productive even they're not coming to the office in that sense may i know if you're working from home or office currently uh, for the past I'm not really sure now for how long, what was it, was it, because it's been several times that we do on and off. But I think for the past year, we've been strictly working from home. But this uh, recent, in the past few months, I think two to three months, we have adopted to a hybrid class where some of the people in the office do work from home, while sometimes I come to the office. So for my side, my schedule is MWF, I come to the office, and CPH, I work from home. Okay. How do you organize your day when working in a physical office? On my day, I usually, of course, I let I usually come to eight to five this time. So I start my day coming to office around seven ish in the morning. Then start by um, clearing all my emails by eight, and then arranging other meetings from there onwards, or just. Uh, doing usual BAU tasks. Sorry, that does answer the question. Yes. How do you manage yourself at the time that we are in the midst of a pandemic and how do you stay proactive? Oh, okay. That's interesting. At, at first, it was really difficult because um, you're used to seeing your colleagues, right, and interacting with them and with um, if let's say you have questions or you might need help with others, it's easier when you're just sitting with someone and easily ask it. 
and it feels a bit difficult if you're quite far because you feel bad about sending them a message to trouble them just for something. But I uh, try to, uh, what I do is if I feel like a bit stressed because you're just working at your home, right? You don't have, you don't travel anymore for work. So there's, there's like no stopping from working. That your laptop is open every time. So if I feel a bit stressed, I usually go out for a walk or take a deep breath or and then do usually I do exercise or do a bit of like uh, a stretching at some point so you don't get overwhelmed and I put I utilize my calendar to put like a reminder at my top that okay by this time I should be stop, I should stop working or something otherwise it could never end. Okay. And you said that you have a you're working at office now. So how will your company keep your staff or your team safe during this pandemic? Well, good point. So uh, to make sure that um, every one of our staff are safe during this pandemic, so we have divided our, the team into two shifts. And uh, that shift, that's, the, that's why, as I mentioned, we have an alternative. Like the first batch, we have two batches. Right? So let's say team A goes to the office on Monday, then team B stays at home. And we have a social distancing protocol as well that we try to apply in the office in that sense. We also have, of course, before you enter the building, is the usual health check, or I mean, not health check, but like the temperature check and also for sanitizing your hands and everything. Yeah. So, so uh, tell me about the time you had to manage a difficult employees <laughs> okay there, there are several times i have to manage the employers right good point so actually i think it's more applicable on my case since i follow up with uh, uh i used to be a recruiter before so it's more of dealing with the candidates and now with managing the managers that i'm dealing with so that um how i cope up with it is that First, you have to be empathic about their situation and you really need to be good at listening because it's important that you understand their frustration to see where they're coming from. Because on my, I don't think that it would help if you provide them another problem, right? So instead of that, what you can do is to do an active listening to understand where the issue is, like why, why are they getting frustrated and from there you provide solutions on how you can help them and uh, that would help them calm down and if you provide them solutions on their problems, that would help or that would ease their mind. So yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so for those who want to go to Japan, uh, go to Japan and who wants to uh, work in Japan, especially for those who are uh, graduated from IT, applied to Mom of Ares company. So, Mom, what should employees employers do to up, do to apply to your company, and what benefits will they get if they apply to your company? So, uh, what well, can I say? If you're like on the IT background, Japan is very much in need of those IT related things, especially like related now to development, so to cloud, etc. So. Yeah, if you go here, I think what I can say just in general, even for myself, is that uh, the cost uh, the cost is quite high for living, but it, it, it's rewarded accordingly based on your salary. It's good. Then you get uh, national health insurance, which is nice. It's covered and everything. And the transportation, especially for you from Philippines, you would know how bad the transportation system that we have sometimes. So here it's really quite easy and it's safe. Yeah. And that's all. So thank you, Mom Ellen, for sparing some time for us despite your busy schedule. And I'm grateful uh, for interviewing with you. Uh, you have uh, given me a clear overview of your work. And let's hope that things will get better and be back to normal. So God bless and stay, stay safe always. And see you soon. As love you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Take care.